Pope Paul is not just one more theologian. Let's get that straight. He is the supreme teacher in the church, and his teaching has to be accepted as binding by every Catholic. Are you truly the people of God, individuals endowed with that discernment by which you can test all things in Christ, individuals capable of responsibly arriving at truly Christian decisions on moral matters, or are you something else? Perhaps children whose conscience can generally be trusted, but who in certain cases must suspend their own judgment in favor of someone else's. The Catholic Church, which we Catholics believe has received its essential structure from its divine founder, is certainly not run in such a way that priests who will not follow the pastoral directives of their bishop can be allowed to go on just as they like. There are magnificent men and women in our community who do not see contraception as essentially evil and who have decided before God that it is morally permissible in certain circumstances. I am authorized as bishop to give the powers of priestly ministry only for use, and I repeat, only for use in accord with the church's teaching. It's a difficult thing for a priest to go through his day without saying mass, without preaching, teaching, counseling. Priests will not preach opinions opposed to the encyclical. They must present the authentic teaching of the church in strict harmony with the Holy Father's encyclical and without comment. If this is a burden that a priest must accept for saying what he really believes, then I am proud to take that burden. 